looks forward to a lot of... Hello, and it's great to be talking to you from the foot of Beeston Hill. This is the scene here at Ellen Road. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Harrison. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. He's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Robbed of the ball, Mo Salah. Aronson. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Making sure nothing came of it. Darwin Nunez. Here is Thiago. Nunez. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Will he finish? And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Brendan Aronson. Harrison. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Salah. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Alexander-Arnold. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Can he make it count? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And Thiago looking very positive on the ball here. He could pick out a teammate. And is it going to be Thiago? And still looking to get the shot off. Fabinho. The high press was on and that's a fantastic tackle. Wilfried Nyonto. Patrick Bamford. Chance to attack using wit. How about the cross? McKenney. Is it going to be? And he thought of the attack with a masterful tackle. Well, getting close to the half time interval, and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Salah, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Can he do it? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. 
And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Koch. Aronson. And it's with McKenney. Wilfried Nyonko. Well, nicely cut out. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Elland Road. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Now sending it in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Harvey Elliott. Gakpo. Elliott. It needs an accurate cross. And Salah! The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Breaking at pace. It's looking promising. Really vital interception here. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Andrew Robertson. Running with the ball confidently. Corner kick forthcoming. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Corner kick played in. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, behind for another corner. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not cleared away completely. Top class defending. Excellent ball over the top. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. They're pressing... Hang the... on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Must be. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike.
So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Andrew Robertson. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Now, potential danger. That's a great stop. What a dramatic finish. Fantastic save there. Well, they've decided to make a change. Played over, oh, no end product. McKenney. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Another perfect position to read it. Well, with the support of these fans, Leeds are throwing everything at this now. Can they get back into it, though? And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Here it is now, a substitution. Coming onto the pitch, number 32, Joe Matip. Henderson. Here is Thiago. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. This could level it. Chance, maybe. Well, nothing comes of it. So the referee blows for full time. And I'll tell you what, not a great day at the office for Leeds United. No points picked up. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well,